everybody. What's going on? It's me, BB. And I got a special guest. I always have a special guest. Y'all know. I have Mr. Bass Skeezy coming to us straight from Philly. Listen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How are you doing, Mr. Skeezy? Can I call you Skeezy? Yeah, you definitely can call me Skeezy. That's what they call me, man. Okay. How you doing? <laughs> I'm good in yourself. Welcome to the Artist Corner and thank you so much for coming on, you know? Yeah, no problem. Even with my crazy schedule and I had to change, you know, it gets like that sometimes. But I'm happy you on. So what's going on? I met you through the song. Well, I didn't really meet you, but I saw you through the song Battle League. I have to okay. congratulate you. You did an amazing job. I, I love all year round. Um, I was I'm definitely a fan of um of Red Smoke, but I, I like your your um original. The, no, not the original, the um creative. When you were singing, okay. that was hot. That okay. Was, that was all the way hot. <laughs> I loved it. Okay. So how long you been doing music? Um, I've been doing music for a while. Uh as far as like recording, mm -hmm. probably since I can't even I can't even remember. I, I started recording back in the early two thousands. Um this guy ran my way. He uh, he actually used to be in a group called the Barcades. Oh, I remember them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, he kind of introduced a lot of us to the recording aspect of it. I've been rapping since I was in the sixth grade, though. Wow. What was your first? What was your? How did you know you really could rap? That's what I said. In the sixth grade. Um. The reaction I used to get from my peers, I guess. And I kind of knew myself because I always was a fan of rap. Since I can remember my uncle used to rap. Um, I'm talking, I, I used to be six or seven years old. He was dragging me to house parties. I'll pick the mic up and, and be rapping his raps that he wrote and stuff, so. Oh, that's messed up. Did you rap in school while you was in like high school and stuff? Did you perform? No, I, I didn't perform in high school. It was just like, you know, the uh, the ordinary ciphers with your friends. We used to hooky school sometime or at the lunch tables. People used to get the beating on the tables and yes, yes. things like that. Um, I used to record a little bit, but it wasn't really professional. Like, uh, I think back then we used to record off the radio. <laughs> it was uh -huh, you you put, it has the cassette tape and real, real, real. I don't know if that old, but I know me, you have to record and turn it over. The so what, what, what made me really want to do it professionally though, mm -hmm. I remember um, I remember I was in high school, I probably was about 15 or 16. And um, I don't know, you know, you know, uh, Gilly the Kid or whatever on Instagram, what's his name? Uh, uh, King of Philly, Gilly, whatever, Gilly and Wallow. Okay, Gillian. So. No, Gilly and Wallow, Gil Gilly, um, King of Philly, Gilly. They got the uh, Million Dollars Worth of Game podcast. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, well, anyway, he was a rapper in the group Major Figures, but this was before he um, actually, like, they started to blow up and everything. Because mm -hmm. he from around my way, and I went into the corner store. That's around my way that he uh, he used to chill in with, with the rest of the guys. And he just was like, young boy, listen to this. So he let me listen to it. And it just sounded so professional and clear, unlike the stuff we was doing on recording on the radio. Mm -hmm. So that kind of made me want to do it like professionally, mm -hmm. if that makes any sense. That makes sense. There's always somebody that inspires, inspires. Yeah, that, but that how about the singing? Cause you could sing, like. So you I always, you know, I little kid used to want to be a singer though. Like when I, <laughs> when, I was, when I was younger, I used to, uh, I used to be in a couple choirs and stuff. Um, okay. Couple friends, friends of mine from I, I was doing that in elementary school and middle school. I used to want to be a singer. We had our little bootleg singing group and stuff, and I used to mimic like boys and men, Jodeci. Singing these songs, I swear I could sing like you know what I'm saying. Oh, but you can, you can, you can hold it. No, listen, that sound that was good. That's I was surprised, you know, because we hear it in the song Battle League, but not that much. 
So, oh, okay. like, to, you know, um, like to really put yourself out there, you knew what you was doing. That's great, though. So, you I'm, know. I'm, I'm glad it appeared that way because I, <laughs> I just did it to, to see the people's reactions. Like, um, I don't know. I, I I like to sing, but I find myself singing around the house in the showers. So, like, you see, because you got the voice of song. That, you know? It's music, music. So it's it's not only just rap. It's music in general that I love. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Artist, because you're an artist, so you're an all around artist, and absolutely and it's not just one thing you do. But what when you when you sit down to write? What what inspires you? Like what what do you what make what gets you inspired to write? Um, I have a dope music. Okay. I have a dope music. Um, that's that's really what I be inspired by. So when I hear other artists with, with dope lyrics and dope music, that inspires me to create my own. Um, a lot, almost ninety percent of the time. Um, sometimes I just know that, like you know, I need to do some work. I need to write some music, so I'll just sit down and and and, and uh, surf through instrumentals and beats and stuff like that to something catch my ear, and um, you know, click with me. But mostly, it's other artists inspire me. Nice. Ninety percent of the time. That's nice. Because you are a seasoned artist. You are you are really meaning that. You know. You, you can hear it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sure, I appreciate you can hear it, it in your music. You are a, a seasoned artist, and the song Battle League was nice, but you, you are a seasoned artist. That's what I, I, appreciate, I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was yeah. nice, and I love all the artists, and I support because that's what it's about. We must support. We got to support. But um, you can tell, you know, <laughs> that, that you, you you know what you're doing, you know? And y'all got a strong yeah. team in Philly. Tell me about your team, because I, I interviewed... Um, Benny Blanco, <laughs> and he was just something else. And so, tell me about your, your team in, in Philly. Oh, all right, yeah, that's that's my man. That's actually my boy, uh, the Gas Gang. Right. Gas Gang is a is a bunch of artists that really came together. We all from uh, different parts of the city, um, except except for uh, Benny. I, I knew Benny all my life. Right. He really my my old head, like you know what I'm saying. So. Um, He's a big part of me doing music as well. Like, cause I had stopped doing music for a long time. Like, um, like you know, life happens, and I just didn't see. I just didn't see music going. My uh, music going anywhere. Um, it was time consuming, and and you know, it can get to be expensive sometimes. So, like, I just refused to be like a starving artist. Mm -hmm. So I, I just I laid off from the music for a while, mm -hmm. but when I decided to come back, it was only natural that I click up with Penny, uh, with, with Penny, because that's that's where I always did. So it was like you know, when I started rapping again, he had this thing going on called the Gas Gang, and um, I started going to a couple of events that they was going, and like we just clicked, and I just you know I just came a part of that like. Cause for a while I was doing the music by myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's always better when you got a team and, and people that support in you. And um, like in the music industry, the the movement, the movement sells, the movement that gets you notoriety, notoriety quicker than um, just your, your talent, if that makes any sense. Makes so it's like sense. when people see a bunch of people doing dope stuff, it seemed to attract attention, like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, um, that's really what we doing. We and just not, make, not only just that, you know, from what I hear, you guys are talented. It's not just you have a group of artists coming together no, and yeah. this one is talented, no. It's talent, you know? No, um, yeah, so it, that's talent. definitely not just artists coming together. You definitely gotta, gotta cut the bill. You know what I'm saying? Or you know, you you know, that's that wouldn't be a good position for you to play with inside the gas gang. You're not meant to be an artist. You definitely gotta have dope, dope music. And that's what kinda attracted me to them guys as well because um everybody was talented. Everybody uh uh seemed like everybody main objective was to uh create records and, and, and quality music as opposed to just the 
jabber jabber that you used to. Right. And um, everybody wasn't afraid like to be ourselves. Like nobody sounds the same in a gas game. No. And, you know and, and it's so. tight. It's tight. You know. You know what I mean? Like I, I feel like you're right. It, it's important to have a team, the right team, because you can have a team that's all wrong. You know what I mean? Every, everything they doing is wrong. So right. it's very important to have a tight team because that that takes you to success. You know. And y'all team, it seemed like. It seemed like it's real tight. The young lady, I I, I, I didn't really see much of her, but I've been following a little bit and watching it again. I'm following you guys. And uh, uh, Which one? Uh, Asha Thorpe or uh, um, uh, Moolah? No, Ashley. Ashley. Ash, Ash, Asha Thorpe. Asha, Asha, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, I, you know, I'm getting more, in, more into it, but yeah, I like your, well, I like, the, 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 the tightness, you know what I mean? I feel like um, you don't have a lot of that. You, you know what I mean? And that's real important. And like you said, you get noticed when you have when you have a team and you got a team of talented people. So right. yeah, it's a win-win situation. Somebody gonna get it, you know? And when that one person get it, everybody can move on getting it, you know? That's a fact, that's yeah. a fact. I definitely love that. So right now, what do you do with your music? Do you have anything out? Are you doing any shows? What's going on? Um, I don't got no shows coming up at this moment because I kind of just do them as they come along. Um, mm-hmm. It's not like I'm on tour or anything, but I definitely got I got a project out on all platforms right now called Better Late Than Never. Okay. That 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 was kind of me when I decided like. So let me let me give this a shot. Um, and, and I created a project. That's why I called it Better Late Than Never because, like, I'm not a young I'm not a young guy. Like, I don't know how old I might look, but <laughs> I'm definitely I'm definitely not um, I'm not old. But I, I you know I ain't I ain't in this uh, in this generation of music that's out now. Like, you can hear it in my music. Absolutely. Yeah. Like I was getting a lot of criticism from that as well. Like, you know, um, once you over there, they'd be like, "Oh, you're a rapper. Give it up, bro." Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. So I just decided, like, um, how it is now with, with how the platforms are set up and the opportunities that's available is different from when I was doing it before, mm-hmm. and it's actually um, more of an opportunity for your music to get heard. Like. We wouldn't have been doing this interview 10 years ago. How would you ever hear them? Like, like, you understand what I'm saying? Right. And through, through the internet, um, it opens more doors <clears throat> for you to uh, gain more fans. And who knows who gonna like your music? So that's where the Better Leap Than Never title came from. That's a good that's thing. Right now. That's, that's out right now on all platforms, but I'm working on another project called The Money Is In The Fleet. The Money In The Fleet. It should be coming out like around mid-August. I'm really almost done that job. I'm just uh, wrapping up. Well, that sounds good because you gotta, you gotta really, you're right. Like this day and time, you could do this. Like age, whatever, you're right. I, I mean, I, I was doing interviews 20 years ago. You know, I was I was in spots hosting basketball tell you battles and you know, all kind of stuff. But you know, it kind of sort of, like, like, why am I doing this? You know what I mean? Why am I doing this? But then all of a sudden, like, yo, I'm, I gotta do this because it's in me. So for you, it was just like felt like the same thing. You ain't gonna do it for a while. Life happens. You gotta get real. But then, if it's in you, like you was in singing in a choir, you were, music is in you. It's hard to give that up. It's hard to give it up. Like it just haunts you, you know? Absolutely. And you're doing a you like you doing a good job. I'm. I am going to be following you guys because um, it's just all about that. And y'all coming out of Philly, Philly, Pat, Philly is known. I don't know if people know for like great artists, you know, Teddy Pinsagrass, great music, you know, came out of Philly. And I didn't know like music. Maybe that's why all the artists are so damn talented. I don't know. Like all your artists, that's, that's amazing because that's rare too, you know? Yeah, it's definitely in our blood. Are you going to be a part? I know you are. The Philly versus, uh, is it New York? Versus yeah, Philly, Philly versus New York uh, song battle. Yeah. Definitely going to be a part of that. Uh-huh. Definitely going to be a part of that. And in fact, 
I'm going to be a part of the OG group versus the YG group as well. Okay, do you know who you're going to go up against? That's going to be interesting. Yeah, I'm going up against the young boy, Rick B. <laughs> oh, wow. Rick B's good. That's a good no, one. He's good. I'm yeah. 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 I'm, a, I'm actually a fan of him. Yeah. Um, and also uh, Streets Murder. I like Streets Murder, too. Oh, listen. I Rick B, you got it. Rick B and Streets Murder are like, you know, I have all favorites, but they are, so, it's something about their mannerism also. Their mannerism is, I interviewed both of them. Their mannerism is everything. And they are creative. And I, mm -hmm. I yeah, I, I kind of like, reach out to street murder like every couple of days you know just like hey you know i'm always getting some ideas from him or throwing something at him but yeah they're very they're both very talented they're just not rappers they're artists you know that's gonna absolutely. Mm -hmm. absolutely that's gonna be exciting when is that i don't even i don't i don't, I don't keep up with baz and maybe uh, I, I forgot i forgot um the yg goat versus the og goat is the end of august i believe okay um i don't I'm not sure the exact date. And and the and the um Philly versus uh New York, is that gonna be live? Oh, I'm not even sure though. You gotta rap with uh OG Benny and Shabat and, and Baz. Yeah. I, I haven't been Baz has been on and off and sporadical. I've been busy. I have I have to reach out to him this weekend and see what's really going on. Because once the song Battle League, I was like, okay, where we I'm gonna put your um I'm gonna put your battle up, but I can't put the whole battle. So I don't know. I, I oh, like yeah. the creation. And I got another battle. Um, I got another battle Tuesday, I oh, believe. Yeah. I think his name is Six Ring O. Oh, Six Ring O. Okay, yes, I, I put him up oh. before too. Okay, all right. That's gonna be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna watch that one. But I'm gonna put the last battle of you and um Red Smoke. I'm going to probably yeah. put the most creative round. I like all, all around, but I like that one. Um, I, I'm behind two, two videos to do that. So I'm okay. trying to support as much as I can because I do have other stuff going on. But, you know, I try because that's what it's, that, that's what it's about. You know what I mean? That's what I much appreciate it. Definitely. That's, that's what we do it for. Uh, you know, for people like yourself and, and other people that appreciate the music and appreciate the craft. Yeah. Yeah, and people, yeah, I'm sorry to cut you off, but people, that's what I do it for. Like, you know, people are like, oh my God, you just be doing that. Doing that. But I do it because if nobody else likes it, the artists like it. And if that's what it's all about, then hey, that's what it's all about. I ain't chasing no bag right here. I ain't doing none of that stuff. People are like, oh, you could do this. You could pay people to be on your page. I'm not doing any of that. I'm not doing any of that because I get money other ways. That I'm not doing because right. I feel like, it's important to showcase the artist. It's important for the artist to tell their story, especially most of my artists are black men. It's damn important, you know? I say that all the time and I can't say it enough and anybody gets tired of hearing me saying it too bad, but that's what it's all about. It's, it's about just, just showing some good shit because we got a lot of good stuff going on. So, you know, that's my thing, but I'm not gonna keep you long and because I'm editing and put it on other platforms. Um, oh. I do have other platforms coming up, um, so I hope you don't mind um, if I put it on like um, in Manhattan and if I put it on like in Brooklyn. You know, no, that way I can show share it. it. Yeah. Share it everywhere. Share it everywhere, you feel free. Um, like I said, man, my name is Bashki. They call me Bashki, you know what I'm saying? B-A-S-H space S-K-E. Love it. Love and it be on the lookout for your boy because I got definitely got more good music I got some good music that's out right now and I got more good music to come along with uh, visuals I'm definitely doing much more videos this turn around um, from here on out because it's important to, to get yourself out there like that they want to see you it's you know? true so I don't know if you set it up or not it's so fly like right behind you the crown is right over your head okay so you said that that is like <laughs> Yeah. The crown is like right over your head. That's just dope. That's and so easy, dope. baby. <laughs> <laughs> I have so such a good time with like artists. Like I feel like I gained so many, you know, just people I know. And now it's just like all oh, love is so good. 
you know, I'm just supporting everybody. I will, if you guys come to New York, I will be there. You know, no, I- absolutely, absolutely. I'm definitely with it. Um, like, we'll, we'll figure it out. Cause now that this coronavirus thing is easing up and everything, uh, it's gonna be a lot, a lot of things taking place more. So I'm definitely trying to get up there soon. Yeah, and y'all got fans in New York. Now, everybody love y'all. You know, um, Benny came over, came on talking mad shit, but he aroused everybody. He got everybody. You know what? That was you know the what? Thing, I did know? that. I did that though. Cause I'm not, I'm not really like that. If, if, if you can, like you can tell with. Yes, I can. That's not me. Like, you understand what I'm saying? But uh, Friend Daddy SP, I knew Friend Daddy SP. He sent me the, he sent me the live one day. And I went on there. I'm like, oh, these these dudes is uh, they doing like a song battle thing. I'm like, oh, this is right up our alley. So I start I start sending a live to everybody, but especially I sent it to OG Benny. But I know how they is. I knew when they came in there, like they was going. You know what I'm saying? I did that. And they needed that though. That's a good thing because Benny yeah. is Benny Benny is a visionary. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. he saw the vision, and he knew what to do. Vin yeah. Vinny is definitely, I only had one conversation with him, but I watched. Vinny is definitely a visionary, and um, he 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 got it where, where he needed to go. It got everybody a little bit fired up. They was like, what? They said New York? It was so good, but now it's all like love, yo. I love oh, them, you know. You. Yeah, it's all, it's mad love. Uh, That's what it's all you. I, I knew this interview would be great, and, um, you know, hopefully I will see you guys soon. I'll be watching. I'll be cheering for you. I, I can't say that because then people are like, you said you're cheering for me. I cheer for everybody, but you are hot. Keep doing what you're doing. You I appreciate it. You are seasoned and you can hear it in your music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I appreciate that. Seriously. Seriously, that's inspiring right there. Yeah.